Greetings, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to set up our messaging options for CRD. <clears throat> in the options menu, go to messaging. Here's where we have a number of mail settings that you can use depending on your environment. Let's go through each of them. First is MapEye. If you want to use your MapEye profile, simply select it from the drop down list will automatically detect your Outlook or Mappy profile from the list. Select the one you want and enter your password. If you were to click more, if necessary, you have some advanced settings where you can use it in Outlook standalone mode, connect it to your Exchange server or your Exchange web service. For Exchange server, simply enter in your Mappy alias and your Exchange server name. If you want to do Exchange Web Service, go ahead and put your server URL, your sender name, sender address, and authenticate. Once you're happy with your settings, you can actually test it and type in an email address here. Upon a successful test, you'll be notified that it's successful and a test email will be sent to that address. You can choose the type of encoding as well. Next is SMTP. <clears throat> With SMTP, you can actually enter in all of your SMTP settings so you can connect to your mailbox via SMTP. Simply put in your username, authenticate to your using your password, type in the name of the server, your email address and sender name details, this is where you would customize that, and then you can access some more advanced options like POP authentication, additional using SSL connection, and configuring IMAP for delivery receipts. Once you're happy with that, you can click on the test settings button and enter an email, email address here to test it. CRD will let you know that the test was successful and you'll also receive a test email in your inbox of the email address you picked here. Next is CRD Mail. CRD Mail is a free service that we have included with CRD that enables you to email reports through our servers here. This service, a couple of things to bear in mind, is this service is subject to our own maintenance cycles on our servers. So be aware that there may be downtimes that the reports are being distributed through in which they would not run due to maintenance periods. You would mention your sender name and your sender address details <clears throat> and then click activate account. You will then be prompted to enter in your customer number and password to access the member area. From there, you're going to get a web page here where you will then enter in your customer number one more time and then click activate. This will send a message to the Christian Stevens servers so that, so that your account can be established. Be patient as the request can take up to 24 hours. Next up is GroupWise. If you're using GroupWise in your environment, simply enter in your user ID, password, proxer ID, server address and server port. You will then test the settings and try entering in an email address you know that works. CRD will hit you back with a with an immediate confirmation that it that the email that the test was successful and you'll also receive a successful test email in your inbox. And finally you can even select the option for none and you'll use no messaging at all. 
Well, that's it for setting up mail settings. Thank you very much.